Don't you hate when you sit down and have to use the restroom and- Oh no! Ugh, oh, that sucks when you move. When you move the screen! Alright. I wanna- and, Okay, and again, the second reason I'm playing this game first for this Messing Around series is that no one has shown the DQ5 monster recruiting. They only seem to recruit the monsters they want, and that's it. And it gets a little bit upsetting. It's like, well, why don't you just get the guy? You know, show that you can get it. Show how difficult it is to get it. Show how lucky you might have been in getting it. Um, and I don't have any intention of showing the story so much. Because other people are, do have done it, and I guess I want to have something different. So we're going to do all the battles to try and recruit them. And you guys are going to walk through with me, you know, the difficulty. Oh, Gertrude Loon's poof. Slimes learn B-Dragon at level 99, I think. I need to probably stock up on herbs again. Most likely, because I, I use them for healing purposes. and Because um, he doesn't have a heal spell. So, yeah, I'll probably go back to town there. And stock up on I don't know how many I got attacked right outside of town okay scissors I wanna see if scissors are even part of this let's see even though this might not have the right names for them because it's the DS2 version but um I don't see scissors on this list and I don't see scissors on this list yeah although I think dragon pop is on this list he should be on this list uh Drag Goof, which I think was Mad Dragon before. Yeah. Um. Anyway. So none of these enemies except the slime is recruitable, and I don't care about the slime. The question is, I don't, th I don't think I should accept a second or a third enemy. Uh, like you can equip, you can recruit up to three monsters of a certain type. But I don't think I should do that because the monster camp is limited in space. And while the recruitable monster list in PS2 was only... Where's the item store? There's never an item store when you actually want to find one. Where's the item store? Like, Let's see if there even is an item store in this town. Um, Yeah, there he is. It's over there. It's over there. Other side of town, by the armor shop, yeah. I do like that. Pressing Y shows you the overhead map. Right, anything else? Uh, Musk. Oh, okay. Game? You're fucking with my head. Musk was not available in the, in the PS2 remake until you got to... Yeah, Mata. So, th now they just offered it. You bitches. You called me a fucking liar. Whatever. Well, we're gonna have to just load up on herbs. There. 9, 18. I, I wish it would tell you... Oh, well, it does. See how it says bag 37? Okay. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, bag 46. You can only buy nine at a time, though, which is a little bit annoying. I wish you could go two digits on that. It's like, why why not let you go two digits? You you couldn't do any Dragon Quest game that had a bag. I don't know why. It's it's not like it would take up that much more room, and we're in the age in which making this, a, 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 instead of making it like a single-digit integer, even single-digit integers could go to 64, you know? So limit it to, I don't know, 50 or something. If you really want to save space, but there really is no point in saving space on game carts anymore. Games this simple that are just ports, you know. They fill it up with crap, though, don't they? They, they put in like extra recruitable monsters and shit. So, in the, in the PS2 version of this game, you could recruit 30 monsters. So you could actually have two of each monster, and the monster camp wouldn't even fill up. Um, you could have three of some monsters, some of the easy ones, and the monster camp still would almost not fill up. And if you wanted to go easy route, you could recruit three golems, which wouldn't take you that long. Um, the odds of you doing it are probably, like, honestly, the odds of time it would take to do it is probably, like, two or three hours, and you have all three golems. 
first golem's recruit chance, I think, is 1 in 4, and then it drops to probably, I think it's like 1 in 32 and then 1 in 64. So it never became too difficult to recruit the golems if you wanted all three, and three golems would be pretty OP if you got them all to max level and each had meditate. Okay, tickling, ticking time bombs. Um, my list over here says you can recruit the ticking time berms. So... I wonder if I'll kill the mushroom beforehand. So... If the mushroom's the last one, unless I think you can also recruit him. Fungul. Yeah, I think so. Well, which we're probably going to recruit him, if anything. Uh, let's look at the Fs and find out. I think you can recruit Fungul. Yep, he's on the list too. So... Now that I've killed him last, he would be the one to join if anyone joins. I want to say that Slime Knight was over here. Like, up here near the edge. Kind of like how there was that one area in Final Fantasy or that one area in the first Dragon Quest. Small Fries. And I think you can recruit these as well. Um... Yep. These are also a recruitable monster, so why not try? And let's see if we get him after Wacka or someone levels up. Gertrude's level 8. Slimes go up pretty quick. So we can just hang out around here for a while. I should probably throw some musk down now that I can buy it. It's not its not even a trophy anymore to get that much musk in the prequel. Okay, Paui, Yaoi, and Fangawa's. I, I think the Power Yowie might be recruitable, I don't know. Um, yep, the Power Yowie is. Is the Fungua or whatever? Um, EFG. Uh, the Fungul is. But there's also the Fan Dagao. Is that what these are? Fan. Yes, yeah, so you can recruit both of these enemies. So we actually have quite a few enemies to try and recruit here initially, which will keep me busy for some time. And that's actually a good thing, because I was looking for a way to kill time when I didn't want to record my main Let's Plays. And maybe, just maybe, I'll get the Power Yaoi. Why not? And I don't care if these guys level up or not. Oh, I didn't get him. Anyway. Since I have all this free time... Well, I'm going to say I have all this free time today. I have very little free time today, but I had an hour. I could probably squeeze in an hour and a half. But no more than that, I do have shit I have to do today. Pretty important stuff, too. But I just wanted some time to myself because I hadn't fucked around in like 10 days. And it was a little bit upsetting to me that I couldn't, um... I should probably just use the musk. I'm not sure how long it takes to wear off, but there's no point in having 75 musks in my inventory. Um, where are they at? Yeah, if you can just buy them in the first town now. So you're using monster pheromones. Okay, I can handle that. Oh, there's the Slime Knights. You can equip all three of these. Recruit all three of these. And I kind of want a Slime Knight because of their equipment draw and their heal spells, which will keep me going a bit longer. So they can heal as well, so I probably should have targeted them first, but I think my Grungum Whip will one-shot them. Um, the Powy Yowie or the Slime Knight. The Slime Knight's actually easier to recruit, so I want to target the Powy Wowie first. Because if, if the monster is going to be recruited, it's already been decided, obviously. No. Um, but everyone likes Slime Knights. They're not the best character, by far, but they are good. Um, you can't go wrong with them. And it's just because of their, their really good equipment draw. And I don't care if you guys gain all the levels in the world, doesn't matter. Besides, it'll let you guys see how cool slimes can be. They get a lot of hit points. Regular slimes are actually one of the best characters. They don't really get a lot of support spells or skills or anything, but I, I think they get... I want to say they get a heal spell. I mean, slime knights are the healers. Uh, no, actually, slimes don't get you because there's other slime families that have a lot of heal spells. Now, I'm on the plains where encounters are lower, but encounters won't be low here with the musk. So... I'm hoping the Power Yaoi will die from my two combined hits, but it looks like I, well, recruit the Power Yaoi, if anything. Smack Ola. Oh, okay, he has more hit points than I thought. Hmm. Do I have one in the... No, Gertrude's level 9. Yeah, he's just going up like mad, man. 
Anyway. Now you might say, well, wasting time because you didn't want to do a Let's Play right now. And you didn't have time to render and stuff. You're going to have to render anyway, right? And that's true. I'm going to have to render. But because... Here's the thing. Because I'll be... I'll, I'll, as soon as I stop playing this game for the day, I'm going to start doing my work. So... I'll actually do the rendering while I'm just doing the work and then just come back later and upload it. Um, and I don't have to edit it. I was a little bit wrong in the slot machines, but I wasn't wrong in the battle arena, and I'm not wrong when it comes to battle turns here, and I'm not wrong when it comes to monster recruiting. The RNG is lazy. Ben Dagals. I actually want to try them in combat and see how good they are. I think you could rec you also maybe can recruit the DS version the green little cactus. I'm not sure. Okay, no one. The musk will make this easier because even when the planes with encounters are lower, I'll just uh, be able to get them a lot faster. And this one little corner does seem to have stronger enemies in it. I think it has the enemies from up north. He's completely unsurprised. Might as well use some herbs after this battle. Uh, the slime says follow orders, but I can't seem to do anything with him. Oh well. I'm gonna have to use some herbs now. Make sure Prince Henry doesn't die here. Prince Harry. I think he was Henry. Or was he always Harry? I don't remember. I always want to call him Prince Henry. Maybe because that's just a historical name for Prince, you know. Uh, yeah, everyone's Prince Henry. You, you, Prince of France, Prince of England, they all had a Henry at one point, you know. So. Wacka goes up. And it looks like Gertrude is gonna go up. Gertrude, sorry. He learns Kabuff. Eh. It's really fascinating to me that virtually every enemy on this peninsula can be recruited. <laughs> You wouldn't think so. And I'm almost tempted to not use the enemies I'm recruiting. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm almost tempted not to keep them in the wagon so they gain EXP. Like, I'll have three or four enemies to use, but you never get a feel for how useful enemies are. Oh shit, here he's croaking. If you get them too late to matter. Like, you can recruit them just to recruit them, but do they have a benefit? You know, why make an enemy that could... I I'm of mixed minds when it, when it comes to difficulty of recruiting versus usefulness. And, and versus usefulness when you find them. Seems to me like they shouldn't have so many recruitable monsters because there's no point to it. You get a slime, a drachy, and maybe a brownie, and there you go. There's There's your three. And you wouldn't need all these others right now. Because there's no point to them. Um, they don't seem to offer any skills that you can't get with the easier to recruit monsters. All the monsters that are between 1 and 1 and 2, 1 and 4, or even 1 and 16, 1 and 8, 1 and 16, anything up to 1 and 16 is considered easy to recruit. And it doesn't seem that there's um, a shortage of useful, of utility monsters that are easy to recruit. So monsters that are extremely difficult to recruit don't bring anything to the table that you can't usually get with the easier monsters. Um, I'll say usually, because there's are, there are some rare monsters that may bring something spectacular to the table. Um, the, the Gigantus is really hard to recruit. He only goes to level 7, but his stats max out at level 7, basically. And he needs like one and a half million EXP in order to, you know, in order to get that high. But if you get him up to level seven somehow, um, you'll be really impressed with him because he has an extremely high crit chance. He's actually really good at clobbering metals for you. And you may say if you've got, if you're at the end of the game at that point, and you get the Cyclops, or or the Titan, whatever they want to call him, it doesn't matter. If you get the Cyclops. And you get him to level 7, at that point you don't need the EXP, true. And at that point, you don't even need the metals, because a metal babble and a metal 
slime aren't useful at that level of the game. Metal slimes show their usefulness early if you get them. Um, you can only defeat them with a crit, basically. And a metal slime, I think his max level is maybe 20. And he gets a lot of hit points. I think he gets like 50, something like that. And the only way to do that much damage to him is a crit, because every other attack is going to do one damage to him. And that makes him extremely useful. So he's useful throughout the whole game if you get him early. But if you don't get him early, you don't need him. I don't really care if these enemies get all the EXP, these simple-to-get enemies. Even the Draki, I don't care. If I get the Draki, he'll stay in my party, too. Um, like these Fengdagos, they, they max out. They have a, a max level, and their max level doesn't make them very useful. So, any monster who's low level, like to recruit now, and whose max level is 20 or 30, like, um... I think the small fry's max level is 30, so he's not useful mid-game. Um, he levels up with you. The the zombie's max level is like level 30, and he levels up kind of slow. So, and you get the zombie in the first cave. I call it the first cave, the cave Ortega's cave. I call it. You know, is it Ortega? No, it's Papa's Papa's cave. Now you can't recruit owl bears. I'm pretty sure, but I'm gonna check anyway in the DS version. Mm, nope, they didn't add them in to be recruited, so yay, these are just EXP. So why not have fewer recruitables? You know, forget all of these erroneous ones, forget the small fry, forget the zombie. No, actually, recruit zombie in your party and give him to level 99 because he's a common enemy. See how I would do it? Um, forget the slime knight, forget the king slime, forget the king cure slime, Forget the heal slime, because you don't need the heal slime. Maybe because of our attachment to Healy, we'll let you recruit the heal slime. But you don't need the cure, or the king cure. You don't need the babble, which I think you can recruit, I'm not sure. There's so many monsters in the game that are pointless. You don't need the mad dragon, which I think is now called the dragoof. Yeah, you don't need the flamethrower or the ice thrower, those two enemies. Because of the magic they give you, you can get those spells through other enemies. For instance, all the fire spells in the game are, are obtained by the wizard, which in this version of the game he's called the Pressed, pressed to Digitator. Uh, you recruit him, who's really easy to recruit by the way. He goes up to level 99 with you. He has the highest MP pool in the game, and he has a lot of spells. And he has a really good HP pool. He doesn't have really good equipment draw. But if you want a mage character, he's easy to recruit. So then why give us the option to recruit really difficult magic users? You know, like the the Sea King or something, who's really useless. Level 12. Yeah, Henry can get up all the levels. I don't care. Oh, I got the small fry. Yes, he'll join my party temporarily because he maxes level. So he'll just, eventually, I'll just ditch him anyway. Um, he'll probably croak on my way back here. But I'm going to try and equip him. Uh, just because he's now my fourth character. I forgot I need to heal. Fungals max out level two. All your recruitable monsters should have... I think they should be able to go to 99. Or in the case of like the, 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 the golem, yeah, make his max 50 like it is. But he'll level up slowly to the point where it's okay. You probably won't see level 50 until you're probably level 70. Uh, that's probably Newton. No, that's Gutrude, actually. Newton did not level up. Okay. And we can get ticking time berms, which are useless. Why give us the option to recruit these? Um, even though my point of this game right now is to grind for these, um, I'm still going to complain that there's no point in getting them. But I'm just I'm just burning time. And that's the point. And I want to show the monsters, because no one's showing the DQ5 monster list to recruit. No one, and I'm still under the in, under the influence of Musk. I don't think it ever wore off, uh, which is impressive. I think it eventually does. I mean, you'll see Musk is no longer in the air. Um, that's why I'm encountering things so much. Yeah, see. Um, you can't equip the flatulent ferrets, or their two skinned brethren either. 
And in this version of the game, you can equip, you can get the green apple and the red apple, and neither one of them are good. You might argue the HP pulls are impressive on the apples, but there are only early game enemies, and they don't. The brownie is just as good. Okay, um, Newton can equip the things, but I already have the things. Um, Gertrude can have. Okay, the chain sickle, I don't care. The chain whip. I was just looking for stuff for Newton. Um, apparently, he can only have the things, which I already own. So this is why I buy. I try to buy one of everything, you know, just in case you need it later. Especially in games that give you party members like this later on. Okay, let's look at all the best armor and see if Newton can have anything important. Besides, I'm getting money, so it doesn't matter. Newton cannot have that, or that, or that. I thought he could maybe have the leather kilt, because Barongo can, and he's a quadruped. Um, I have rags in the bag for Gertrude. I don't... I, I'll give him rags. Pointy hat. Alright. I guess it makes sense you can put the pointy hat on him, and he'll charge with it, so... Yeah. Alright, well... Gertrude can have rags, which is interesting. I just picked these up at one point. I don't even remember where I picked them up. Um, yeah, they are. Rags. Um, gives him three extra defense, so why not? Of course, you can buy a slime guniform, which negates, um, you know, all that. I have monsters with not the main character. Hooray for me. I'm going to actually go sleep with them. Twenty bucks because we have one more monster in our party, so it's five bucks a person. Not too bad. You know, I don't. The muscle dudes in these games always wear the fucking helmets. It's like, look, could you take it off? Even in Dragon Quest VIII, I thought they were making fun of the fact those guys never took the helmets off because when they talked. But I don't know. I, maybe I'm missing the point. Okay, level 2 for Newton at 57 hit points isn't too bad, so. Now, Gutrude's hit points at level 12, oh, the Musk finally wore off, and then I get attacked the first step after Musk wears off. Oh, game. It's like, okay, my RNG has gone down now for attacking, but nope, you triggered the RNG, so, yay. Uh, I'm going to just go up to my favorite peninsula and use Musk again. I could use the monster munchies, but I haven't found a store yet that sells them. They have a use in battle. They might make a monster miss a turn. Anyway, I already have the small fries, so I, I won't say yes to a second one. The only one I would ever say yes to are the medals because they're so fucking rare. And you'll never get one anyway. So Okay, I still need the Powie Yowies. I don't need small fries. The only reason I'm attacking the small fries is for the XP to level up Newton a little bit. Um, after I get a few levels, I'll just escape the battles I don't want. You know. You guys think this is a good idea, keeping the hero dead so he doesn't grind up too much? Okay, I know I can equip the. Uh, uh, I know I can fight the uh, Fang Dalos, so I'll recruit them, so I'm gonna try and kill the small fries first. Even though there's no point to them. I think also the, a good reason for doing this is to express uh, the limit of the usefulness for these monsters. And so you guys can make an informed decision whether you want to spend time recruiting for a monster or not with the effort it takes to getting them up. Now you might want to use an EXP hack, um, which I don't blame you for. When I first played the Super Nintendo version of this game, I used an, e an EXP hack and got everyone up to like level 70. Because why not, right? I'm just. Okay. Howie Yowies! Yay! Actually, I'm gonna go to tactics all. Actually, no, because Harry can, can go under tactics too. Let's see, fight. Actually, tactics. I can make Harry go under tactics. Um. If I show no mercy, 
on everybody here. There. That will just make combat a little bit faster for me. Come on, Powie Yowie. I like monsters that are hit point tanks. That are that there's they get all the hit points in the world. Those are always fun for me. And that's why the restless armor, i.e. Rogue Knight, is so good, because his hit point pool goes up pretty quick. He's got the highest natural hit points in the game. I think it's like 610, plus or minus a few. And that's fairly impressive. So I wonder what that horse is thinking, making himself go back and forth all this time. Slime Knights, can we get one? No, I just wanted to fuck around with the game, so I'm fucking around with the game. And... My whip should kill three of these at least, right? Four. Four. There's his crit. Oh, he critted me at 45 damage. Nice. And I, of all of those slimes, I didn't get a single one. Oh, game. Mm, yeah, why not? The dragon's not too hard to recruit. He's useful. Um... I want to kill the dragon first, because I already have him. And the slime knights are a second, because they heal. But then again, they're easier to recruit than powies, so... I should probably kill powies first. Just... Oh, I'm frozen with fear. We're all frozen with fear. Outstanding. Yep. Um, we just skipped around. I am un unimpressed. Oh, great. This could cockblock cock block us and just totally juggle us into a frozen environment where nobody can do anything. I didn't even save state before this battle. Which means this could do a party wipe on me. Which is bullshit. Come on. This is bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, fucking die, you little bastard. I hate perpetual turn locks on games. It's just bullshit. Uh, Newton? Maybe Waka? Waka goes up. He got 10 hit points. See, that's impressive. A lot of people turn down the brownie for some reason. I don't know why. He's, he really is a good character. And, and again, since he goes to level 99, he can be viable throughout the game. And a lot of people, I think what it is is this. I'm almost at the one hour mark, so I'll probably divide this up, and I'll tell you what it is after the hour. That way, you know, like after this battle. Yeah. I'll tell you after this battle. Alright, um, I think I'm still in the middle of the slime battle, by the way, but, um, I want to tell you after what my opinion is on that. I actually want the slime knight shield. I think it looks cute. There's a little slime in the... Yay, he's probably Newton. He probably leveled up. Okay, Gutrude leveled up. Slimes get steady. Hit point increases throughout the game. They never get anything too drastic, but... And I don't need anything at the moment. <clears throat> 